beautiful city of Atlanta, Georgia. There is the Georgia Dome, which will host the 75th Final Four next year. But in the meantime, we've got two final pieces to the puzzle to settle here on this Sunday. Cash in, huge in keeping Indiana at bay. Les Jones, Ryan Kersey, Mike Stewart officiating, and the outside jumper drops for Anthony Davis. Good matchup here, two of the top forwards in the country. Jones lays it over to his running mate, Davis. Stripped away by Teague. Up ahead, Jones. AC chasing after him. Oh, that was a big body blow. Hold on a minute. Boy, that's right on the line for me. That is right on the line for me. Flagrant one foul. F1 and F2R. And again, in my estimation, the officials have to make the judgment. Shooting the ball. And it came over to help influence that missed jumper by Quincy Miller of Baylor. Kid Gilchrist. Top shot gets it to drop. Got to be sharp. Ball fakes. Sharp. Speedy passes. Nothing lazy. Teague hits a three to tie it at 10. Yeah, let him in scoring against Iowa State with 24. You could tell Baylor was out of control there. Up ahead, Davis, outstretched arms, gets it and dunks it. Let the orange slip right there as Jones picks it up wildly and as Jones of Kentucky racing out with it. Wiltshire, the freshman from Portland, hits the three. He put on a shooting exhibition here on Thursday. The confidence to go with it. Jackson trying to match it. No, and Jones has another rebound. And he's able to bring it out initially by himself, and that allows you to eliminate the need for an extra pass in transition. The key here is Kentucky has picked it up and ignited, and there's Miller. They can just hurt you so many ways. He has made 15 of 23 field goals coming into this game during the tournament. Big Gilchrist. Again, all the way down the floor for the basket and a double-digit lead. The Wildcats are indeed going wild. Anthony Davis with that throwdown. Sudden, it's the end of the world. <laughs> Big Gilchrist, there's no stopping him. And Davis, he can hit that shot all day long. Real dilemma for Baylor, Jim. They're trying to match up with this big perimeter of Kentucky, but their best offensive players are smaller. Kid Gilchrist hits the three. They had a game under their belt without Marshall. And I would expect Harrison Barnes to have a stronger shooting game than he did the other night. He was 3 of 16 at one point. Kentucky's hit its last nine shots from the field. Lob to David. Kentucky shooting 62%. No wonder shots like this all game long. We call this big to big above the rim for the Wildcats. Penetration by Terrence Jones. Defenders come up and help. AD all by himself at the goal. Mark it up. 7-12 to go. But I think the beginning of defense is offense. And Kid Gilchrist got in the paint and really got almost an uncontested shot at 18 fouls. Yes, yeah, exactly. That's going to be a problem. They should come down, exploit their matchup, attack the rim, and see if they can either score easily or draw fouls the rest of the half. Well, they've doubled up Baylor now at 34 to 17. This is the largest lead of this regional final. Barry Jones, P.J. 3, they're going to double him when he puts it on the floor. And then he was sloppy with it and lost it. Yeah, Davis helped force that sloppy action by reaching in and tapping it away from him. Kid Gilchrist keeps making plays. Well, it's really a pick -em when you look at the Kentucky Wildcats. Any number of guys are making plays, but he seems to always be in the middle of everything. Quite honestly, Jim, even though he's only a first-year player. Well, he hits the front end of a one-and-one. One. Got them both again. They're going to run it down your throat. Mm -hmm. Had that lead at 10-5, to five. and then they hit a drought. Look at this passing down low. Jones. Davis puts it back up. Miners to play volleyball. This is a missed shot, but Davis 
right there. Impeccable timing and pretty nifty finish here. Because you have to know where you are, and then they're going to knock down some threes in the second half. Miller hits the floater. Against a team everyone's regarded as the best in the country. But there's a block again by Davis. Four seconds to go in the half. Miller looks up, sees the time, feeds the corner. Lamb puts it up, no. But still, Kentucky goes in to the locker room, up 20. What a performance here by the Wildcats. Deficit is Heslip off on the three. And Kid Gilchrist comes out with it. There's another lob, and that's Jones bringing it down. Teague with the assist. How did you let him watch the rest of the way with the marginally on that left knee. Now to figure there's a little rust on his game. And Lamb gets them both. Sets. Scrappy play here, and Lamb delivers the goods from the corner. The dance without him against Kansas, and if they do, they get to New Orleans. And Lamb hits the jump shot. They go through. Pass. Lamb now got nine in the half. That comes from Miller. It'll be a one and one coming out of the break. Teague and the Cats up 17. Well, we're going to take a look at the Wildcats again in transition. Double vision because Teague has to see that Terrence Jones is behind the defense and Terrence Jones. And Kentucky in the bonus, Jim. Free throw shooting team to the foul line. Some blood somewhere. On the elbow. Yeah. Two shots. Ben's tennis tour. He's got a lot of game and personality to go with us. Yes, he does. Tennis pro. Right in the sweet spot. Well, you get your era. You know. Score. They've just put it together at the right time, and that's a real big basket for Kentucky. You One know, spot? You never know, but it seems like Indianapolis is locked into is Andrew. Luck. Locked in with luck. And Terrence Jones scores. Right. I mean, it's perhaps a rematch with Kansas. Another look at virtual madness here on the free throw line. One of those guys is supposed to block out the shooter. It's a basic fundamental in basketball. Does not happen at all. And Terrence Jones over the top of the paint. And the Wildcats pulled away in that second half. So, Lamb, where you've gotten there, is just uh, out of control. Heads to the bench. Final game that he'll represent the Baylor Bears in. Need to watch these seniors finish up their careers. Anthony Davis going to take a seat. He actually will have a, another game for sure next week in New Orleans, perhaps two. Jackson gets Wiltshire to commit. He's got another dunk. Kentucky's first ever NCAA tournament game was in 1942, and it took place in New Orleans. And now they're heading back. The Big Blue to the Big Easy. Kentucky and Louisville set for next Saturday. Ohio State will take on the winner of the North Carolina-Kansas game, which is coming up here on CBS. For Clark Kellogg and Tracy Wolfson, this is Jim Nance saying so long from Atlanta. Again, the Midwest Regional Final, Jayhawks and Tar Heels is up next. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports on the road to the Final Four. And we'll send you to the Capital One NCAA Tournament CBS Sports Desk after these messages.